I'm sure distractions would be such a useful way to, you know, help situations if I could actually pick up objects and throw them and use them as distractions, but sadly I cannot. And I'm not wasting flares! Oh, that spooked me. Little Dippy Bird, you should not be that spooky. Welcome back to Suladan Plays Alien Isolation. Last time, I got a Whomper. I also got a gun. Um, I also got a thing with which to hack doors and a power cell to power the thing to hack doors. But here's a fun thing I've learned. I also got the ability to make flashbangs. The revolver, like you right click for that. But you left click for this, so I can bring out the wampum hammer whenever I want. Yes. I can now make all the noise. Womp. Why does reality distort when you hit a chair? I know not. There's sure a lot of noise going on though, and I'm afraid that that noise is gonna attract unwanted attention. So. I'm gonna try to go this way. Nope. I know there's an air vent there I could use. Tech workshop. There's an air vent here. Let's go to this tech workshop though. I see a green on the door and that means I can hack it. I forgot how to do this already. Uh, e. Aim. Aim. Door open. Y'all should stop making all this racket. I'm trying to read. Yes. Chief, the good news is I'm about 80% through archiving Sylvester Pool's internal mail system for decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here. The bad news is whoever set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware and we've had some leaks. We've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's the specialist archivist we called in. He seems to know what he's doing. Just thought I'd better give you the heads up in the meantime. Franco. I don't like that I heard a thump a thump from behind me. An outpost of progress, desolation through isolation. The space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. Sevastopol is now a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity, docking bays are empty, and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Siegson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up, and the antiquated Apollo governing, a governing AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here, and more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones. I have lived on Sevastopol for two months. Two months compiling the report for the Colonial Times, discovering the price of our second tier corporations have paid for their over expansion during the race to the Outer Rim. I didn't know we were playing Star Wars. Only they can have Outer Rims. One of these days I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be somebody just standing there waiting for me. I want to loot that. I want that scrap, but the game won't let me have it because apparently there's a limitation on how much scrap you can carry. If you run into a limit on how much scrap you can carry, you just need bigger pockets. Or more pockets. More pockets is generally my method. You mean sensor max. Are you saying I can't make more? Oh, I can only carry six of you. You know what? I'm gonna use you because I've got a low on health anyway. And then I'm going to make another med kit because I need to use up a sense. I don't use sensors for that. You know what? We're just going to pretend none of that happened. Uh, flashbang. That uses a sensor. I don't want to use my one blasting cap, but here we go. Where'd that sensor go? Sensor. Now this one over here. Scrap metal in it. Which I can now take for some reason. I used up 10, but I got 15. Okay. I don't like the sound I'm hearing. Ing.
He's here. I've never had answered. Fix the air conditioning. How good is a xenomorph's hearing? Or eyesight? Or smell? Anyway, I guess we're just gonna have to go forward. Uh, honestly, a little surprised the game didn't give me a save point before this. Is it out here? Just vanished into the ether, I see, okay. I'm on edge. I'm trying to listen. Oh good, he's not on the other side of the store. You know what, we're gonna run this way. I was being here for nobody. I will be in here if anybody needs me. You know, you if you're trying to sneak, you could really make a lot quieter noises getting in and out of them lockers, though. When in doubt, save points are your best friend. Still want to know what happens if you save while there's a xenomorph nearby. Like, I don't know. Now, let us quietly and peaceably slip back over here. I don't like those air vents opening and shutting given, you know, their tendency to hide in air vents. So is it actually here or was that just the games introducing me to it? I'm not going to hang around long enough to find out because I keep hearing uh, death chitters. That <laughs> anyway, enough of that. We're going this way. Okay, that's another hidey hole. I don't like the noise I heard, and I don't know whether it came from up or down. I vote down. Any loot over here? Any loot over here? Any loot over here? How about here? Huh? Loot. Loot. I love ambient noise as much as the next person. But I'm hearing an awful lot of ambient noise that ain't telling me nothing about my environment. Doing a great job of making me nervous, but for all the good that does. I would have gone. I would have gone more for utter silence and then just hearing actual in-universe sounds in the distance. But, hey, that's just me. Y'all locked me out. I don't like the sound I hear. Uh, hello, Flo. Don't do that! Okay, mystery tuba. Are, are you done? I'm investigating... I'm investigating a flying gun. Apparently they're having some Xeno problems, though. What's this do? What's this? Okay, powering the ventilation system made smoke. Is that a good thing? Why am I blind? Stop blind. 
Okay, so that makes a smoke screen, apparently. I hear noises that I shouldn't, and I'm blind as all get out. How am I supposed to loot things in a world I can't see? Random upbeat music. I'm hearing a lot of thumping and thudding. Hopefully its eyesight isn't as good as the random people with guns, though. Just like sees me from way over there and starts making a beeline for me. Still don't understand the rewire system. Do I need to turn them all onto air purification? Or does air purification just make the whole area a smoky haze? I'ma do that. I'ma do that. That seems like it's good for my health. There we go. I'm sure this is good for my health. If I can't see it, it clearly can't see me. I don't like the sounds I hear. <laughs> oh, hi! I don't know how fast you are. I don't know how well you see. I'ma just scooch on over here. I think I need downstairs though. Hey, dead man. Oh no, this is the door. Oh, this is that door. Oh, I'm sure that didn't make any noise whatsoever. Seeks and security bypass, five out of 10. Okay, thank you. Okay, we out of here. EMP devices can be, don't tell me that. Also, oh, sorry, there goes my heart. Okay, I'm back. Oof. All visitors must report to reception. Ooh. Okay, that was more tense than it should have been. I thought he was upstairs and then suddenly boom, 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 right in front of me. I'm just <laughs> Ooh. Uh, save point, where art thou? Oh, I guess the autosave system probably got me there. Hopefully. Um, sir. We need to have a talk. Hello, my name's Ripley, Amanda um, Ripley. Sir. I need your help. Your eyes Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Uh, by somebody will be with me, do you mean you're gonna come out here and kill me, or... I'm kind of afraid. You can trust our working Joes. Always there. Always I want there. it! Always I want the fancy helmet. They just work for you, so you can get on with your life in perfect peace of mind. Working Joes. Brilliantly simple, and simply brilliant. So what do, like, this is where the game needs to, like, explain to me what some of these things do. I get that I need to shut these off so I can have door access. I 
I guess I could do that and have the lighting and camera feed. Don't make the spookum noise. You know what? I'm just going to have to look that up since the game is not going to be forthcoming about it. So apparently, you want to turn off camera feed, turn on air purification. Uh, Uh, basically, uh, having lights on means you can see better, but so can the enemies. Turning air purification on puts a mist into the air that reduces detection range. Turning speaker systems on creates audio distractions, which can kind of be a double-edged sword because it can also lure the Xeno you know, into the area that you are currently in, or wherever the audio distraction is, etc. That is also apparently the purpose of the random boom boxes we have found. Uh, and then it said turn off security cameras for reasons. Uh, Dorak says the self-explanatory. Okay. Why do we keep having spookum noises? This is not a spookum zone. Shush. Ethanol compound B. I got a wampum stick for anybody who wants to play spookum noise. For your comfort and reassurance, our Ricky Joe synthetics are designed to be instantly recognizable. Surveys have shown that consumers are often uncomfortable dealing with advanced human real androids. Seeks and working Joes eh. are unmistakable, so you always know exactly who you're dealing with. Be reassured. That's the Seeks of promise. I'm honestly not all that impacted by the Uncanny Valley, so that wouldn't be as much of a problem for me, but... Uh, for those that are unfamiliar with the Uncanny Valley, it's generally the idea that something is just human enough, but not quite... Like, a robot that looks like a robot doesn't bug people, but when you have a synthetic that looks almost like a person, but has some uncanny or unnatural mannerism, it can be off-putting, or in some cases nauseating to people, and it's considered the Uncanny Valley. It's thought to be the same, similar as to what causes us to be repulsed by a corpse, is it looks human, but it's it's not alive. Like, it's got that almost alive, but not quite uh, sort of vibe to it. A lot of times you'll see people use the term when referring to, like, CGI movies and all, because sometimes you'll have characters that fall into that uncanny... Eh, I, I've never really noticed... I, I tend to be blind to it, pretty much, gonna be honest. Uh, a good example would be, like, the, I think, 2001... Somewhere in the early 2000s, the Hulk movie, a lot of people complained about the texture of his skin as being uncanny. Uh, that, that's just an off the top of my head. Um, uh, Saber Spark, I know, mentioned Mars Needs Moms as being a good example of Uncanny Valley, or, uh, I think, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, it, it's, it's just a concept that some people are no, are affected by. I would love to see a study done on whether there's any kind of correlation between different, uh, like, what, what percentage of the population is affected by it? How strongly could it be affected by various aspects? Like, I I'd love to see studies done on it, but... Oh, hi. <gasps> friend! Hi, friend. I know you're not going to be a friend, but hi, friend! Can I help you? Yes? I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency! Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. You could be nice. Be nice to him. Or womp him with the wampum stick, but I don't I want to do that. Advise it. Okay. You're a friend. I like you. That's probably what's going to turn them against me, though, is because I'm going to go in an area that the AI has said that I'm not allowed to go, and it's going to be a whole Xerxes situation where all the robots come after me. Although, in that case, it was because the mini had corrupted Xerxes and other things. But anyway, Xerxes was easily hacked to start with. People kept hacking him and making him sing jaunty tunes. Oh, what's that? I wonder what that is, but more importantly, I heard a thing and I don't approve. 
Uh, sensor. Again with the sensor. Well, I can't do anything with that right now. Motion tra <gasps> Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. I get the thing, um. Oh. Oh, hi. Um, hello. Are you lost? Yes. No, no problem. I'll do that. Access rewire. Sensor. Okay, game. You really want me to have sensors, but you ain't giving me nothing to use them all. I need more blasting caps. Also, motion tracker. Can I use him as a test subject for the motion tracker? I like that it blurs. Like, nice little, uh... Oh, what's that called? Uh, uh bleh, bleh, bleh. something occlusion. Not ambient occlusion. Uh... Thing them with which where things close to character where you're focused on them makes rest of world blurry. It's kind of the effect that when you focus on a nearby object, it's eye focus simulation. Ambient occlusion? Is it ambient occlusion? Anyway, it's an option in a lot of video games alongside motion blur because some people are negatively impacted by them or find them to be a waste of uh, PC resources and other people like them. So set it however you like it. Hughes, I want a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents till we figure out what's going on here. Good for them. Bad path. Okay. Our manifesto. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Seekson, every new technology research project and discovery is driven to find real world application to help you. We hope you'll join us in the journey. And so help me if I find out time passes in the game world while I'm reading these things and a Xeno can just yank me out of it and kill me. I'm going to be very sad. Oh my. Together tomorrow, our origins in space. 2034 changed everything. The advent of FTL travel put Siegson, then known as Sieg and Son, on the path to success. The race to space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder, founder Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Son built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the Sol system. As history relates, Whalen Corp was reluctant to share its FTL technology with other corps. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Audio. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Sieg's in communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone's got to re-establish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not gonna leave you and Claire alone. Okay. Door access. Override door mechanism. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna be so happy with me for that. Also rewire. Can rewire. What rewire? Please, move quiet. That, that is my... You have a very stupid protagonist in this game. She clomps around with loud footsteps. When she's trying to hide, she slams the locker door open. When she's trying to rewire stuff, she slams that case open. Like, you are trying to make as much noise as possible, aren't you, Ripley? Air purification is active. Uh, turn off the lighting. Turn off, turn on the speakers. Where is relay access? Okay, so turn on the speakers there. And the air purification there. Okay, so that's where I am. So having the speakers off here means that the Xeno is more likely to go to the previous area, or Xeno and anybody that's looking for noise, and leave this area alone. Okay, that door is open. I saw a door open. Like, when I did the door override, something opened. Maybe it was this door. Maybe it was this door. So I can go in here. I could hide here. I'd rather loot it. Also, I want to... Find Mr. Android. I'd like to motion sense him. Okay, well that works. That's good to know. I really hope they can't hear that beeping though, because that would be dangerous. I love this thing. 
I love this thing. <gasps> Magic save point. Huzzah! You've come at just the right time because as much as I would love to continue this, we're at a good stopping point. I really want to play this game more. I really want these episodes to be longer. There's so much to do. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.